Hello people in this uh, video we want to look at this huge book park it is uh, for the subject psm preventive and social medicine also called as psm or community medicine okay this is a huge book and uh, you can see here the state of the book because it's so huge right there you go quite difficult to turn it around let me try to turn it around wait there you go this is the uh, back cover okay let's dig into this book now okay so the contents guys let's look at the contents man and medicine health and disease epidemiology epidemiologic methods <clears throat> this you get all that cohort study randomized control study right correct right what i'm saying yeah epidemiological methods cohort study and all that you get in this screening for does it the concept of screening the uses of screening criteria for screenings all that the same continuation right sensitivity and specificity problems on the borderline so screening tests will have something called as a sensitivity and a specificity sensitivity will be uh, based on the true positives and specificity will be based on the true negatives communicable diseases smallpox chickenpox all the diseases they have put basically um the subject though it looks like you know everything as soon as you look at this like oh wait i have studied all this in microbiology right that's what you get a feel like. but it is not like that it is a very specific data uh the incidences the prevalence the strategies to control these diseases and the national programs that are there in india and in the world right see here health programs in india millennium development goals demography and family planning preventive medicine and obstetrics pediatrics geriatrics you will not get marks if you simply write generic stuff okay <clears throat> look at all the other chapters here let's dive in and check let's look at this uh, concept of well being chapter look at this human development index okay this is an important thing you will have to know the uh, indicators which come under this index you will have to know uh, how to calculate and what is their current value right india where does it stand right human development index comes from all these uh, life expectancy index education index g n i what is g n i that is something to do with the living standards per capita income okay now look at this this is with chapter concept of health and disease this is a very important diagram here they are telling you <clears throat> natural history of disease right so how the disease uh, goes through if you do not intervene so initially there will be this is how the disease starts right so you have the agent the host and the environment right that is the envi uh, environmental triad what do you call this epidemiological triad so then the s disease goes on and finally it can lead to death or recovery so this is the natural process if you don't intervene okay so if uh, there are levels of prevention like primary prevention secondary prevention tertiary prevention primary prevention means you don't let the disease occur at all secondary prevention is you catch the disease early and treat it so early diagnosis and treatment if you fail the step then at least you can do a tertiary prevention where you are going to limit the disability and then you're trying to rehabilitate the person okay so this this is a very important thing that is the epidemio concept epidemiologic concept and interactions of agent host and environment again an important thing actually this chapter's name i think is natural history of disease guys natural history of disease okay look at this principles of epidemiology and me epidemiologic methods what is there here <clears throat> how do you define epidemiology then epidemiology and clinical medicine look at this mortality rates you have crude death rate then all the types of death rates specific death rates specific death rates means what and all types of deaths you will have infant mortality rate and all that right what do you say then there is something called as case fatality rate etc so many things are there here 
Another two important terminologies here, incidence, prevalence. And what is this here? How to know the incidence and prevalence? Yes, at this point, we want to tell you that you may have the latest edition of PARC, but still the government uh, values might have changed. Okay. And this book is a very uh, standard book for community medicine for PSM. You just can't do without it. Okay. You have to write what is there in this. Though very generically, you can write a lot. All the headings have to come exactly like it's there in this book. Yeah, just turning the pages here. This is uh, about uh, tuberculosis. Hepatitis B, then what is this about? Food poisoning, then Japanese encephalitis, this one. The book is looking very black and white, isn't it? Not many photos, anything exciting, any clinical image, nothing like that. It's a very difficult book to hold <clears throat> and probably to read. Okay. Hypertension, this is a nice one. Look at this. Hypertension in the community. This is a rule of halves. Can half of them are diagnosed? Something like that. Okay. That's the then this is the, the blood pressure. Tracking of blood pressure. This is about diabetes. This chapter. Then this one is about visual impairment, blindness. Okay, then national program for control of blindness. So they gave a whole uh, chapter for this. See, they, they ask you this NPCB. You will have to write a lot of things. What are the objectives of this? It's not going to be easy to write all these. You have to read these and remember. And it's an endless list of objectives. After that, what is what comes? What is this? Let's look at this. Wait. Administration control. Ophthalmology section. Who is doing all this? Tertiary level, secondary level, primary level. Organizational structure for national program of control of blindness. You should know the structures of these organizations. What is this? Proposed structure for Vision 2020, the right to sight. Okay. This Vision 2020, they will ask even in ophthalmology. Iodine deficiency program. This is IDD, IDD. Wherever you see an IDD, you know, that will be iodine deficiency disorder. Iodine deficiency disorder IDD. Wherever you see national program, just add one in in P I D D something with. Okay, moving on, guys. Let's turn some. See how much have we finished? Half, half done, half done. Great. Okay, we'll go fast from here. Janani Suraksha Yojana. I think this is now replaced with Janani Shishu something, right? So all of them become very uh, the obsolete very soon. By the time you buy the textbook, they would have become obsolete. Okay, what is this? Reproductive Maternal Newborn Child and Adolescent, adolescent Health. M R M N C H plus A is Adolescent Strategy. This is important again. All these national health programs you have to know, guys. Then what is this? Uterine fundal height at various stages of pregnancy. One clinical image finally we found. Okay, what is this? Let's see. Major causes of maternal deaths in India. So what is the major cause here? Hemorrhage and others. Okay, after hemorrhage, sepsis. Hypertensive, obstructed liver, abortion. Abortion is 8% chance of death. Oops. Let's move on. Turning a few pages here. Found the 12th chapter, Medicine and Social Science. They have written something here. The secret of national health lies in the homes of the people. Oh, okay. Community health. What is this here? Let's see. Social factors influencing the health of people. So what affects your health? What do you think affects your health? Current circumstance, individual predispositions, ecological predispositions, opportunities, situations. God, what terminologies I've used and you have to write these in the exam. It's difficult, you know. You can generally tell people something, but they want very specific. Okay, let's see what this is. Slow sand filtration of tank filter. Okay, so something nice here. At least they're showing how to build a well and a shallow well and a deep well, the differences and... This is a sanitary open well. At least this is a little interesting. What is this? Double pot. Double pot method. What is this? Effective temperature chart. Effective temperature means what? Globe thermometer temperature. Corrected effective temperature means what? 
comfort thermal comfort how do you measure thermal comfort wow it's a very specific air temperature air temperature and humidity cooling power effective temperature corrected effective temperature cet i never heard those terms though i have read this so many times air pollution so much covered let's skip some pages and go here what is this let's go to this one this looks interesting management sequence of sudden onset disaster oh this is that disaster cycle yeah 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 how do you manage disasters earthquakes etc let's turn a few more pages and see okay something's marked here let's see what this is chromosomal abnormalities okay that looks easy we have we know a lot about that isn't it and some more pages and some more pages without images and some more pages and we reach the end yeah 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 let's see what this last chapter is primary health care in india okay what is there in primary health care let's look at this national tobacco control program national program for prevention and control of fluorosis national iodine deficiency ah this is the one i told you n i d d c p in idd wherever idd comes you say iodine okay iodine deficiency disorder hmm. what is this national leprosy eradication program national program for control of blindness so many of these you have to know these okay rntcp this is the what tuber glasses isn't it let's try to expand this what is r in rntcp i forgot revised isn't it revised national tuberculosis control program yes then so many national programs job description of members of health team medical officer his job description what and all he should do second medical officer health worker male female okay so many things to do i think we will wind up okay international also is there you can read that's all guys i think uh, there's a lot in this book to read you can look at this book you have to read park to pass community medicine there's no shortcut because um, this book has very specific points and they expect only what is there here Okay so happy reading uh, park enjoy bye bye